Incoming Senator Mitt Romney published an op-ed in the Washington Post that was critical of Donald Trump, at least in a shallow fashion. We'll break down how it was and how it wasn't critical. But here's an excerpt, first Mitt Romney says, when he won the election, speaking about Donald Trump, I hoped he would rise to the occasion. His early appointments of Rex Tillerson, Jeff Sessions, Nikki Haley, Gary Cohn, H.R. McMaster, Kelly and Mattis were encouraging. But on balance, his conduct over the past two years, particularly his actions this month, is evidence that the president has not risen to the mantle of the office. He gave him two years into his presidency, let alone all the campaign and everything. Mitt Romney was still watching day after day to see if Donald Trump would rise to the occasion. It turns out he didn't. But before we go to the commentary, understand what he is and isn't criticizing about Donald Trump. He's criticizing whether he rises to the mantle, but he's not criticizing much of what Donald Trump has actually done. He goes on to say this, he was right to align US corporate taxes with those of global competitors to strip out excessive regulations, to crack down on China's unfair trade practices, to reform criminal justice and to appoint conservative judges. And since he doesn't carve out any sort of exception, for Kavanaugh there, I have to assume that he supports him as well, regardless of you know the, the allegations about both the president and the judge in that case. So he's getting a lot of press and pushback for criticizing Donald Trump, but he's really only criticizing his style, really, much more than the substance. Yeah, well, look, to be a little further fair to Mitt Romney, he he does call it as call out his racism and sexism. As well, in a limited fashion, saying I'll do it going forward, but it's an obvious reference to what has already happened. So, but you could argue that's still style. You could argue that's substance. Well, uh, actually, really fast on that because you point out yes. So he points out the racism part, but then when asked about if he would support Donald Trump's push for border security, he's like, "Yeah, I, I support the president," and that, that's the institutionalization of their racism. The yeah, substance, and that goes to the heart of my criticism of this piece. Um, and I think what you're alluding to, John, which is, so there are some lies that are acceptable in Washington. Actually, a lot of lies that are acceptable in Washington. And so, and a lot of racism and sexism and bigotry, et cetera, that's acceptable in Washington. You just have to do it in a polite way and in the right way. So for example, when he says that he thinks there's excessive regulation and Trump has done a good job reeling that back in, I actually think that that is an arguable position. I don't agree with that at all. But I think that a, an honest person can be genuinely mistaken <laughs> in thinking <laughs> that, that, that Wall Street is overregulated, right? Um, I know when you say it out loud, it doesn't seem really quite possible to believe that. But, but I think that overall in, in regulations, of course, you could have that argument and it could be a real one and an honest one. When he says that the US corporate taxes have now been brought to the same level as other countries, well, that's intentionally dishonest. That does not take into account our loopholes. And they said they would get rid of the loopholes in tax reform, and they didn't. And so now the effective tax rate for American companies are much lower than the rest of the world. And Mitt Romney is sophisticated enough and rich enough to know that. And so that is a purposeful lie. And that lie is intended to benefit the rich, like Mitt Romney and his donors. And so that's an acceptable lie in Washington. Those are alternative facts that are perfectly fine. The border wall and the immigration policies in a lot of ways have that institutional racism and bigotry that John was alluding to. Mitt Romney doesn't have a problem with that. He just has a problem when you actually say it, right? So I would prefer to actually end the underlying problem rather than Donald Trump being too stupid to say it in a polite way. Mm -hmm. This is the, it's, it's the, Mitt Romney is the character of the past Republican Party before Trump walked in, right? Yep. Which everyone harkens back to. You know, whenever people see W. Bush around, they go, oh, somehow a guy has made me miss W, we say. Oh, man, look, um, it was bad then. I remember how much we disliked their policies, but it must be so much worse now. Many of those policies are exactly the same. We know the gauntlet, the normal pr process of tax cuts and not paying for them. Tax cuts for the rich, making everyone else pay for them. That's the same cycle that keeps happening. Mitt Romney's on board for that stuff. People have said, hey, what if Donald Trump is somehow eliminated or impeached or leaves on his own? Then we got Mike Pence, who's good at sitting there and going like this. And saying and doing the same things that President Trump does. So the only thing they don't like is the way that he approaches it, as we all point out right here. But it's illustrative of the Republican Party and also the media, because he's gonna get credit for this. They're yes. gonna say, look at Mitt Romney coming out strong against the president. An incoming senator, tough guy, he's gonna be, <laughs> he's gonna be there to have something against the president. No, he's not. 
He's there to say, hey, maybe you should stop calling names, stop tweeting so much, and uh, be eloquent like me and do the same horrible things. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. should let him sit in Flake's seat. And he knows it's gonna work <laughs> well, for, well, for them to let, give let, him credit. Those are all such great points. In fact, Trump said, oh, we hope he doesn't pull a flake. Well, what is pulling mm -hmm. a flake? Criticizing and then voting with you uh, yeah. over what, 95, 98% of the time? Uh, you should be so lucky that he pulls a flake. <laughs> and, and JR is exactly right about the media. They go along with this alternative facts. And it's maddening. And so uh, at the end of the day, uh, Mitt Romney is most upset at, uh, about Donald Trump because of how he does not effectively, effectively cover up yeah. the lies and racism of the Republican Party. They all agree and vote on the same exact policies. Even the so-called critics of Donald Trump and the Republican Party, none of them are under 90% in their voting record with Donald Trump, not even close to under 90%. They all vote with them lockstep. Obvious notable exception, John McCain on Affordable Care Act and yeah. Susan Collins and, and, and Murkowski, I believe. And so, but, uh, and Murkowski, uh, give her credit on the, on the vote on Kavanaugh. Yeah. Uh, but mm. I just named you four votes out of thousands upon thousands. So spare me your crocodile tears as the party continues to do the same yeah. thing. I'm gonna jump ahead a bit so I can read the, the full context of Trump's response. Uh, he says, here we go with Mitt Romney, but so fast. Question will be, is he a flake? I hope not. Would much prefer that Mitt focus on border security and so many other things where he can be helpful. I won big and he didn't. He should be happy for all Republicans, be a team player and win. Um, just for context, bear in mind that although Trump did technically win, uh, Mitt Romney got a higher share of the vote back during his run for the presidency against a much better candidate, by the way. So uh, that probably digs under Trump's skin just a little bit there. Um, but there was one other response outside of just Trump. Uh, another you know, fairly high ranking member of the Republican Party responded to this. So that's uh, Ronna McDaniel who said, POTUS is attacked and obstructed by the MSM media and Democrats 24-7. For an incoming Republican freshman senator to attack real Donald Trump as their first act feeds into what the Democrats and media want and is disappointing and unproductive. So that is Ronna McDaniel attacking incoming Republican freshman Mitt Romney. Of course, unstated in there is the fact that she's a Romney and she knows who he is because that's her uncle. <laughs> Yeah, no, literally, Mitt Romney is her uncle. Yes. You know, sometimes on the show I'll say he's not my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally her uncle, mm -hmm. and and I love that the Republican Party is run by someone uh, that almost sounds like they were named after Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Ronald McDaniel. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, so she's basically that's her saying, don't don't worry, Mr. President, don't fire me. I am loyal to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, exactly. Enjoy. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com/app.